Today is Wednesday, so we're taking you to another interesting place in the world for Where's It Wednesday. We're flying over the Himalayas to South Asia this week to visit the Adventurer's Paradise. We are headed to Nepal, Asia, officially the Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal. This small country wedged between China and India is only slightly larger than the U.S. state of Arkansas. How about that? Nepal is home to eight of the world's tallest mountains, including Mount Everest. Since Nepal lies along the southern slopes of the Himalayan mountain ranges, its climate varies on what it depends on what elevation you're at. Nepal is a diverse country that's famous for its mountain tourism, national wildlife parks, and places of worship. And apparently, Nepal is said to be the birthplace of the Buddha. And you can find many different shrines, monasteries, and pilgrimage sites across the country. Today, we'll take you through the different aspects of Nepali society, region, and culture, as well as the beautiful natural wonders and unique landscapes found here. In 2008, Nepal ended its monarchy and became sovereign after years of political turmoil and isolation. Although the Nepalese government outlawed the caste system in 1963, this ancient hierarchy is still integrated in modern Nepali society. The caste system persists as a class divide, but based on our research, it is less rigid today than traditional structures. Most people who live in Nepal either practice Hinduism or Buddhism, and as a result, there are many religious festivals and celebrations that take place there, some lasting several days. Festivals are also an important part of the Sherpa culture. Nepali Sherpas, an ethnic group indigenous to the high Himalayas, are known as expert climbers who have developed their own rich culture and way of life. Here's another fun fact about Nepal. According to Britannica, roughly 75% of Nepal is covered by mountains. With that nifty little nugget, you can imagine why Nepal is famous for its mountain trekking. And there's a difference between mountain trekking and mountain climbing. Mountain trekking in Nepal will take you through villages, valleys, and forests for something a lot more suitable for the normal person. However, if you want to give Mount Everest a try, by all means, we will not stop you. There are other mountains that can give you a challenge as well, like Yala Peak, Labush, and Imja Sea. Another fun fact, the abominable snowman or yeti is said to reside in the snowy mountains of Nepal. How about that? That wraps up another edition of Where's It Wednesday. If you have any ideas of a place you want us to visit for next Where's It Wednesday, just send us an email or shoot us a message on our socials.